All right, today we're going to be working on combining like terms. Now, we're going to use these algebra blocks here. You see these pictures of algebra blocks to figure out what like terms means. Okay, so we have this big long expression here. 3x squared plus 4 plus 3x plus 5x squared plus 6 plus 2x. Now we know from our blocks here that these little ones, they're just ones. Okay, they're constants. They're just, each of these is one number, just one. No x after it. Each of these rectangles is an x. So I have an x here, an x here, an x here. Kind of like how this says 3x, that means there's three of them here. And each of these big squares is an x squared because the length uh, or the height of the uh, square is x and the width is x. It's x times x. It's x squared. Okay? So, what we need to do when we combine like terms, we put the same kind of blocks together. So first I'm going to start with my x squareds. I'm going to put them all together. So I'm going to scoot some of these little constants out of the way. And I'm going to put my x squareds in a nice neat group. Okay, because so I had 3x squared, then I had 5x squared. So if I count them all up, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8x squared. Okay. Boom. And those x squared, that's what we call a like term. Kind of the label that comes after the number. They're x squared. Okay, and that's why they're the same block. They're the label, that, the term, or the label that comes after the number. So x squared. Next, we're going to look at just the x's. So I'll put all my x blocks together. So one, two, three, four. Here's one more. Five. So I have three x and two x, and that's one, two, three, four, five. So I have my eight x squared and my five x's. Okay, one, two, three, four, five x's. The last ones I have my constants, and each of these blocks is just worth one. So as I put them kind of in the same group so I can count them. These are the ones that don't have x's or x squareds after them. There's no variables after them or labels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So plus ten. So I took this big long expression. And by putting the blocks together, I could figure out how many x squareds I have, how many x's I have, and how many just um, ones I have. Okay. Now, I don't always have to use algebra blocks for this. And some of you might think it's, it's pretty easy not to. So I'm going to show you how we do that as well. As you see, I had the same expression before. 3x squared plus 4 plus 3x plus 5x squared plus 6 plus 2x. Now I'm going to start with my x squareds. I have 3x squared here. I don't have an x squared. I don't have an x squared. 5x squared is here. So I have a 3x squared plus 5x squared. Well, we know that 3 plus 5 is just 8. And I have to keep my term after, after it there. It's not just 8. It's 8x squared. Okay, these labels have to stay there. So I'm done with those. I'm just going to Cross them out. Boom. Boom. Okay, I don't need them anymore. I've already combined them, put them together. So I have 3 plus 5. Now I'm going to look at my x's. So this one doesn't have any x after it. But here's an x. 3x. 6 doesn't have an x after. 2x. 3x plus 2x is 5x. So I'll move this out of the way. Reveal that there's five x's there. Five x. And then I'm left with what's what's left. And guess what? None of the numbers that are left have any variables or any terms after them. Okay? That's good. So I can go four and add ten or six to it very easily. And I know that four plus six is just ten. Okay? Now, when you look at your homework, you might see problems that have a lot going on. X's, Y's, squareds, and you might panic. 
don't panic. Let me show you how we're going to put this big long one together. This says 3x squared y plus 4y squared plus 3xy plus 5x squared plus 6xy plus 2x squared plus 3y squared plus 2x squared y. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm going to start right here, and I have 3x squared y, and I'm going to underline it with the yellow. It's going to mark that. That means x squared y. And I'm going to look for other numbers that have an x squared y after them, and I'm going to underline them yellow as well. Oh, well, that has a y squared. That's not the same as x squared y. That has an xy. It's close, but it's not an x squared. It's just an x. And that's just x squared. It doesn't have a y in there. That's just another xy. We don't want that. That's an x squared, but again, there's no y. y squared. Nope, it's not the same as x squared y, but right here I have 2x squared y. Okay. So 3x squared y and 2x squared y. Well, I can put those together, and that's going to be 5x squared y. So I have 3x squared y plus 2x squared y is 5x squared y. Well, next I'm going to look at which, which, kind of, which term comes next, and it's a y squared. So I'm going to go through and look for another number that has a y squared after it. There it is, 3y squared. So 4y squared plus 3y squared. Add those two numbers in front of it, the coefficients together, and that's 7y squared. We have 7y squared. Okay, now let me look at the next one. It looks like it's an xy, 3xy. So 5x squared, it's not an xy. 6xy, yep, that's the same as 3 It has the same um, term after it, same variable, same label. And guess what? That's just an x squared. So I'm just going to look at those two. 3xy plus 6xy, guess what? That is just 9xy. And last but not least, I have an x squared. And there's 5x and another x squared. Those are like terms, because they both have x squareds after the number. So 5x squared plus 2x squared, 7x squared. I don't know why I have this 9xy here. I already have my xy in there. So 7x squared. So see how I color colored them? You just look at which variables are the same after the number. So all my x squared y's, all my y squareds, all my x y's, and all my x squareds. Okay, so that's how you take this big long expression, put all the like terms, the one that have the same labels after the numbers, you put them together. In this case, we add them together. And that is combining like terms. You don't always need those algebra blocks. In this case, we wouldn't even have algebra blocks for these x squared y's. Okay? So if you need to, get out some crayons or a marker and label each of these terms and then put them together.